The nuke is a destructive weapon made by mankind. It is able to output extreme power very quickly. It was first created back in the Second World War. It was made by the Americans in order to make the Jap to make Japan surrender. Because they were working with the Axis powers, German and Italy. The bomb devastated Japan. It was made by the Americans in order to make Japan surrender because they were working with the Axis powers, like Germany and Italy. The bomb devastated Japan, but they were still in the fight. Until America launched a second, making Japan call quits. This power would not have been possible if not for the research of two German scientists by the name Fritz Strassmann and Otto Hahn. What they did was point a stream of electrons at the nuclei of uranium and managed to split it, causing a big boom. This is called nuclear fission. And nuclear fission generates huge amounts of energy. Uranium and plutonium are the two main sources of fuel. You can use fission in nuclear power plants, but in our case, we're going to be using them for nukes. And fission and nukes and power plants are totally different, but rely on the same principle. How fission works is when you split one atom of uranium, the nuclei splits into two equal pieces, and they fly off and they split the other nuclei of other atoms, making a huge chain reaction, releasing a lot of energy in a fraction of a second. This is the power of the nuke, but for the process to work, you need the right amount of uranium. In World War II, they used 12 pounds or 5.5 kilograms, and this works. This is a bit bigger than a ping pong ball, but it was still good enough for the bombs. But for the bigger bombs, like the H-bomb, they need nuclear fusion. In fusion, we use hydrogen, hence the letter H in H-bomb. In fusion, Instead of splitting, we are combining, or throwing two hydrogen nuclei together really fast to fuse them, creating helium. This releases a lot of energy. That didn't work. I might just... The bit was supposed to blow this up and, you know, it, it would release a lot of energy. This releases a lot of energy. Hydrogen, being a light atom, means it is smaller than uranium, so more hydrogen atoms can fit in a bomb. Meaning, there are more atoms available, and more reactions take place. This is the explosion, generated by an A-bomb, using fission. And this is an explosion, generated by an H-bomb, using fusion. It's much bigger. But these reactions take place in extreme temperatures. So, in order to make that more, you know, relevant, you use the power of the A-bomb so you can heat up because, you know, in order for this reaction to take place, you need extreme temperatures, just like the temperatures like our sun. The only way possible is using an A-bomb. So we can detonate an A-bomb to activate the H-bomb and release a lot more energy than one A-bomb could manage. Like that. But in 1945, an even more powerful bomb was made. What they did was take an H-bomb and inside of it enclosed it with a jacket of uranium-238 which reacted from the protons released during fusion. And this was more devastating than anyone could have imagined. Now, away from the destructive capability, onto the long-term effects. There are two major functions to a nuke. There is radiation, also the blast. When the bomb detonates, there's a huge fireball which releases heat 
going outwards from ground zero, the actual spot where the bomb explodes. Anyone a couple miles away from the blast will get second degree burns. Next, the shock wave. Depending how close you are depends how strong it is. Say we take the bomb dropped on Nagasaki, an A-bomb, using fission, being anywhere within 10 miles of ground zero will flatten things like houses easily. Finally, a staple of nukes, the radiation. In lower doses, the radiation can cause things like cancer and mutations, but in higher doses, it can even kill you. Radiation can also penetrate walls. As you can see here, we have a lovely wall. This is a neutron. And as you can see, it went through the wall. That's what radiation can do. The radiation can also go up into the atmosphere, travel thousands of miles before coming back down. This is called radioactive fallout. And it's just as deadly. Fission bombs, like the A-bomb, cause more radiation than fusion bombs, like the H-bomb. So, all in all, for a good summary, nuclear weapons came to be in the Second World War. The only two nukes used against other humans was on Japan, dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. How nukes work is simple. For nuclear fission used in A-bombs, you split the nuclei of either a uranium atom or a plutonium atom. These nuclei split into two pieces and fly off and split other nuclei. This generates a lot of energy. H-bombs use nuclear fusion. Fusion works by fusing two hydrogen atoms to form helium. This generates a lot of energy and when used in H-bombs, generates more power than A-bombs. There are three, effective nu three effects of nukes. Radiation, which can harm people in the environment. A shockwave, which can level a house within a 10 mile radius from ground zero, and a fireball, which can cause second degree burns if you are miles away from ground zero. All this might be scary, but also, almost everyone agreed not to use nukes because that could be really bad. So they all eliminated their supply and there is no threat. Right? <laughs>